Hello people, today I'm going to be playing Peggy the Massacre Chapter 2. So before I start, please leave a like on the video. Anyway, the station, Chapter 2. Uh, yeah, I know how to escape this, well, at least I hope I do, because I messed up before recording this, so I hope I can do this again successfully this time. Anyway, well, what happened to these peoples? They seemed out of their mind. I, I really need to report that. Mm, okay. Right, and there's three modes. Nightmare, Hell, and Normal. Uh, yeah, I think I'll just do Normal just for the sake of the video. Anyway, so, yeah. Mm, it's kind of easy, this chapter. Or at least I think it is. So, yeah. First of all, you grab the orange key, go into the break room, and... Oh, there's a cow that committed suicide. Hey, guy, wait, where are you all? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I think that dude was feeling depressed. Yeah, anyway... Uh, guys, have any of you seen Tommy? What is it, Purton? Oh god, I think I left him at that campsite. I'll go get him. And then, guys, why is there a massive area underneath the station? We, uh, we can just call it a basement. Good idea, Purton. I'm sorry, what? And then there's... This is so much better. It even has a bed. That's way better than a couch. It's a bit too cold in here, though, and there's no heater. Don't forget it has a fan, too. Tommy, this is why nobody here likes you. Um, they're having a beef, okay. So I need the white key for the garage. And yeah, spanner for up there. Anyway, yeah, what I need to do now though is just go into the cell area. And yes, there is a pig and a bear inside of here. Alright, so first of all I need to go up the stairs cave. Well, oh, oh he's there. Crap, he, he almost saw me, did he? No, I don't think he did, that's good. Okay, so I had the blue key now. I go into the emergency exit, okay, and then use this. Now I have the green key, and then I need to go back to the reception area and into the break room because that's where I need to use it on. Yeah, there's spider webs there. I wonder, I wonder who put them there. I wonder, wonder who the perpetrator is. Okay, so unlock this, and now I have a red key, and this is for the like storage room area that's like all the way on the other side of there so hopefully it won't take too long okay one of the bots is stuck up there so that's great and yeah there is a dismembered dog dude here okay this guy's probably going to see me isn't he oh he didn't that's really great all right and yeah there's spray paint cans around the map one up there one up there they'll be in use later on but if you go in here for now look what will happen i suggest you take off your headphones if you're wearing headphones it lit on fire, so I need to like get a fire extinguisher for it. Anyway, when you go into the janitor's closet, this will happen. Like, oh, oh, oh no, what happened? I got killed by some kind of, well not killed, but knocked out by some kind of weird creature. Anyways, there's a chainsaw there, and also a purple key. So yeah, the chainsaw is for the isolation cell, also known as solitary confinement if you're from the UK. Like, do they use that term in the USA? I'm not sure. Uh, so someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure, like, only the UK uses solitary confinement. Anyway, into the maintenance and storage room, and I'm going here again. Oh, same thing happened. Ah. I got knocked out. Okay. So now we need a plank in here to get across there, and... The plank is pretty easy to find. Yeah. And look, both of the officers are now stuck in the spider web. Still, I wonder who puts them there, huh? Anyway, time to grab the plank. So go to the dismembered dog. Take the plank. And then head back on through here. I also need to use a crowbar, like, in the maintenance room as well. And there's also dynamite in that room as well. Okay, so go here. Use this. And then I need to use a crowbar there. Uh, is there anything in here? Ah, yes. Is this Brody's Burgers and Fries. Yeah, sounds nice. I could do with some rides now. Anyway, I have the spanner now so I can go up into the office. Okay, so through the break room again. Okay. And then... Grab the crowbar, which is right behind here. And then go back into the storage room. Yeah, everyone's been having pizza, burgers, pies, you name it in there. 
Uh, I wanted to have all that lovely food as well, but I don't want to be fat, do I now? Okay, break this down. There's a fire extinguisher here, and also dynamite, which can come in use later, I hope. Okay, but for now, I need to go extinguish the fire that I caused. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I caused it inside of the cell area. Yeah, how do you think I could have caused a fire, actually? Do you think I was just being a pyromaniac or something and accidentally happened to set it on fire? I'm not sure. What do you think? Anyway, extinguish this fire and grab this key. Well, I don't need it yet, so I need the chainsaw first. Okay, so grab the chainsaw, then break the chains and the solid confinement. Okay, and then grab the key. Now, this is where the perpetrator who trapped those officers in the web are. And, yeah, it's the largest inmate of this prison. Yeah. I wonder how they keep hold of such a large inmate. Anyways, he has a voice line. So, like, yeah. Oh, Kevin, are you kidding me? Kevin really just shut down the server. Anyway, as I was saying, yeah, the perpetrator is in here. And look, he has voice lines. So, I'm going to turn up my volume and shut up so you can listen to his voice lines. Who do we have here? The officer that trapped me in this cell. You are nothing. Okay, so, yeah, basically, okay, I don't know what this guy is. He looks like a spider thing of some sort, like, whatever the hell he is. And yeah, basically, he's just mad that uh, the player, yeah, Lisa, trapped him in the cell. Uh, yeah, that's basically what he's mad about. Also, yeah, it does look like he's camping here, so that, like, really sucks. Like, how am I going to get past him if he's, like, just camping here? Like, let me see. Bruh. How am I going to get past him? He's just camping the doorway. Like, he owns the place. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Okay. Right, so, yeah, in order to get rid of him, yeah, you can't go that way because he's put a big web there. Yeah, you need to click a lot of the spray paint cans around here. So, yeah, if they have, like, a flashing white or, like, a glowing white light underneath it, that means you have to click it. So, yeah, for example, this one. And then the next one I have to click uh, is basically, okay, where is it? I think it's this one. So yeah, basically it's bug spray. It's what's killing him. We're killing him with bug spray. Yeah, I think. Oh, there he is. Boy, he sure is massive as well. I wonder how they detained him. Oh, crap. Don't want to die, do I know? Oh, right. I just forgot. There's one in here as well. Okay. I can do that. Oh, my God. Go away. You creep me out. Okay. That's a really sick looking model. Like... Props to whoever made that, that's a really cool looking model. Right, uh, which one now? Oh yeah, that one. Okay, this one up here. So yeah, you just need to repeat the process until he does eventually die. Because, yeah, he does die when you spray him, like, a lot. Okay, so yeah, you can see him take damage as well. Okay, and now I need to go press the ones inside of here. There we go, there's that, and now what? Ah yeah, this one, because yeah, this is the last one I need to do now. Uh, ooh, he's a bit fast. Okay, right, there we go. Okay, look, I killed him now, nice. Right, so, yeah, if you look now, you can see he's dead, so that's good. Right, so I have the white key now, so if I remembered correctly, yeah, first of all, I have to like, yeah, yeah, the web's gone now, so I can go here, so... I can get to the garage where I have to use the white key, so I think that's it for the chapter. Yeah, I think the dynamite is for something else, I'm pretty sure, but yeah, well. Okay, anyways. Garage. Open this. Okay. Hey, it's Doggy. Would you look at that? Anyway, I completed Police Station Chapter 2. Alright, take me elsewhere then, Doggy, please. Okay, time to see the ending cutscene. Doggy. Please, sir. D did you see what happened to the others? One of the prisoners even got cut in half. I think you mean dismembered. Yes, do you have any idea what could have happened? Well, they probably got brainwashed or something. Nah, they had their brains stolen, man. 
that could be like, hey, I'm stuck in here now. It's probably one of them. Hi. Oh no, it's just inmates. Missed us, officers? Oh, it's Rash and Willow. Well, are you here to kill us or team up? Probably the former. I doubt the latter. I doubt the latter. To team up, if we kill both of you, it would be harder for me and Rash to survive with them. Oh, they want to team up with us. Okay. Can we trust you? I'm a woman of my word. Alright everyone, let's go to the supermarket to get some resources, then find a safe place to hide and survive. Get in the car. Ugh. Bruh, everyone just fell over. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, like, is that it for the cutscene? Because, yeah, nothing else appears to be happening, so... Yeah, that does look like that that's it for the cutscene, so if that's the case, then that's also going to be it for the video then. So if you did enjoy, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, comment what other videos you want to see me do next, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.